Hi everyone, and on this video we're looking into now speech recognition. So if you like talking to your robot and want him to hear and understand everything you're saying, then stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboField.com. Now on this video, we're looking to do some programming around how to use now speech recognition functions. The Aldebaran Now robot comes with four microphones around its head, which it uses to listen to sounds around it. Unlike humans though, who can process sound nearly instantaneously, the Now needs to listen for sounds at a specific time. After it hears the human speech, it uses its built-in algorithms to convert the sound into words that it understands. To get this all to work, we need to tell the now what words to listen for, whether it's a yes or a no, or a cat or a dog. When the now processes a sound, it can classify it into a yes sound or a no sound, or it may not recognise a sound or classify neither of the two. Once the word is recognised, the now can then be programmed to react in different ways. Right, jumping straight into it guys, uh, let's have a look at how we can get now speech recognition working. So, what we have to do is we go into Choreograph, and here we have our now sitting there. Again, I'm just gonna check to see if he's still connected. Yep, he is connected up, brilliant. Um, and you'll see he's connected up through the, uh, the browser as well. Now, speech recognition. So if you go over to the audio folder, and in the audio folder you'll see the voice folder in there, and if you go in there, and there is the speech recognition uh, behavior that you want. So we drag this in. And we want to connect up the noodles. So we go with one noodle here, pop. So it's connected to the robot. Now, if you hit the little spanner button, you will see that there is a word list in there. So this is the list that we want to play with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to type in uh, now for the first one. And then we're going to type in R2D2 for the second word that he's looking for, and then C3PO for the third word. Now I want to keep the spaces um, between the R2D2, so obviously he says R2D2 and doesn't actually say it like, like, a, like an actual word, like there or with or now. So that's why we keep the spaces there. And we got uh, the threshold at 30, so we click OK. Now what we want to do is we want to obviously find out what happens when the word goes through him and we want to actually set a behavior for each time he hears a certain word. So if you go back into the folders and if you go to the flow control and down in the flow control there's a little behavior there called switch case. So we drag the switch case box in. Now as you can see the switch case box it already has ha hello and five there so I'm just going to add on an extra row but we want to change this word in so we have the three words that the now is going to say in here. So we have hello here. Now we want to change that to now. So we go back into the spanner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste it because this way there'll be no spelling mistakes and it's got to be exactly the same if, if it's a capital N or if it's a uh, capital R or not capital R then it will not work and the, and the now will not recognize it. So we'll copy that one across, and then we will copy oh, uh, this one across. We always want to put the, uh, the, the brackets in there as well, so it recognizes it as a saying. And then the C3PO, there we go, oh, keep doing that. Add them in there as well. This is it, he needs the quotation mark so you can see it as a word. So from that, we will then plug in the speech recognition box into the robot. So we grab this little noodle here and plug it in. So we'll see this is what's listening and then this is what's gonna be coming out. Now, we actually want now to do something when he hears the words. So what we do is we're gonna go and grab the say commands again. So audio, voice, and say from one of the earlier tutorials. And we're gonna produce a few of these. So we have one there, one there, and one there. And then we also want one for if he says the wrong word as well. So we'll start with that one. So if the say a word to now and then he doesn't recognize it, then it will go through and end up through this little box. So we'll bring it down here. And in this one, we're gonna say, hello, I did not 
understand you. Okay, and then simply we go up and we connect each one of these say boxes up. Obviously with the corresponding word, now R2D2 and C3PO. Now in here, say hello, yes I am now. And then the next one, hello, yes I am R2D2. And the next one, hello, I am C3PO. We go okay now what we want to do is what happens is when the now starts listening he will keep on listening so we, we want to stop any loop back or any feedback so the way you do this is that you drag another noodle from here and you put it into the cross here and you do the same with the one where he doesn't recognize a name out and to the cross and this will stop any loop back or feedback now if we try that hopefully we should have a working speech recognition behavior. So let's give it a go. I've got my now sitting next to me. So let's hit play. Now. Hello. Yes, I am now. Brilliant. And we'll try again. R2D2. Hello. Yes, I am R2D2. Brilliant. And the last one. C3PO. Hello. I am C3PO. Now let's try something else. Let's see if he gets it right or wrong. And let's see if we have a different word. Cat. Hello, I did not understand you. So there we go, everything's working perfectly there. Now, if we go into the speech recognition little spanner again, they have um, this little threshold, which I mentioned right at the start. Now this is how close the word sounds. So you, if you want, have, have a play with this, crank this up to 90 or down to zero and see, and see what sort of results that you actually get uh, from this tutorial. But brilliant, that, that's it guys. Um, well done in learning how to do speech recognition. Well done guys, you can now have your long conversation with your now robot and he'll be able to understand what you're talking about. Now have a play with linking sounds together and different actions and behaviours to see if you can have a fluid conversation with your now robot. Now if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put the related links to the videos as well as more information about the now robot. If you have any questions or you want to see any other related tutorials, then please ping me an email over at robofill.com and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofill.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Unlike humans though, who can process sounds nearly instantaneously, and now needs to listen to sounds at a, at a specific time. After it hears a human speech, it uses its inbuilt algorithm. After it hears... <laughs> to, to get this all working, we need to, we need to tell the now... Blah, 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 blah.